so you've been notified that your street is going to be reconstructed. But how will the work affect you? Here we explain some of the process used by the City of Coon Rapids and address many frequently asked questions. We also encourage you to watch the second video in this series to learn more about the steps involved and how your streets will look during construction. Our city is committed to reinvesting in aging infrastructure, making improvements to last for years to come. A lot of planning happens before you even see construction equipment on your roads in the spring. Everything from inspecting the condition of streets, curbs, and underground utilities, to completing survey fieldwork and other technical studies. Nearly a year before road work begins, our City Council reviews and approves proposed projects. Property owners are invited to attend several open house events before the work begins to learn more about the projects. And impacted property owners will receive detailed information in the spring, which includes a general work schedule, city and contractor contacts, and helpful frequently asked questions. To begin work in the spring, you might notice crews marking damaged curb and gutter sections with white paint markings. Some driveway aprons are marked too. These areas will be replaced during the project. Per city policy, only damaged curb and gutter is replaced on these projects. Colored flags will be placed along the boulevard, marking electrical, gas, telephone, and cable TV lines buried within the public right of way. This helps to ensure these utilities aren't damaged throughout the project. Homeowners are asked to mark irrigation lines and sprinkler heads that are in the city right of way. You can pick up white flags if you need them from City Hall during business hours. While we ask you to mark your sprinkler heads and irrigation lines, we also ask for your patience as contractors will try to work around them. But sometimes lines or sprinkler heads will get damaged during construction. But we don't want you to worry. Anything damaged during construction will be fixed at the end of the project. Contractors need at least five feet behind the curb line to work in. And oftentimes, homeowners have private sprinkler systems in this area of city right of way. While every effort is made not to damage sprinkler lines, sometimes it does happen, but it will be repaired. At the end of street reconstruction work, we encourage you to run your sprinkler system and check for any damage. If you do have damage, contact the city's project inspector, who will work with the contractor to make the repairs. Property owners should clear the city right-of-way area of private landscaping, such as paver blocks, decorative rock, and plants located three to five feet behind the curb. The city and its contractors aren't required to replace damaged landscaping within the city's right-of-way. Privately owned items can be reinstalled after the project is complete. If you have questions on how much needs to be temporarily removed, please contact city staff. Property owners should avoid parking on the street unless notified otherwise. This helps crews continue to prep for construction without vehicles in the way. Sometimes, mailboxes are moved to a designated temporary location as determined by the post office. If your neighborhood will have its mailboxes moved, you will be notified and your mailbox will be reinstalled on your property at the end of the project. There are times during street reconstruction when water will need to be shut off. This happens when we are replacing valves, fire hydrants, or water mains. Pay special attention to your front door, where a notification will be placed when your water will be temporarily shut off. This happens between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. on weekdays. Notices are placed 24 hours in advance for residents and at least 48 hours in advance for businesses. We realize this may be inconvenient, but crews perform the work as quickly as possible and then get the water back running again. During large water main repairs, which occur with only a small amount of our street reconstruction projects, temporary water lines are set up for homeowners. This involves hoses being installed above ground and connected to an exterior spigot on homes and businesses. 
This water is safe to drink and will serve as your main water supply during construction for approximately four to six weeks. On weekdays, work may begin at 7 a.m. and it usually ends around 6 p.m. Crews sometimes work until sundown, but all work must end by 10 p.m. daily unless there is an emergency situation. Occasionally, crews will work on Saturdays between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., but the city must approve any weekend work first. Garbage collection will take place as normal. It's the city's goal to keep residents and businesses informed. Every Friday during the construction season, updates are posted on the city's website. The information includes work planned for the following week. Sign up to receive email notifications by visiting coonrapidsmn.gov, then Notify Me, then Construction Updates. And you can always call the city's engineering department for more information. We recognize the, the challenges and the impacts that street reconstruction have on their neighborhood and that if any issues come up during the work that we're here to, to meet with them and we're here to address those issues as quickly as we possibly can.